What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Brittany. Some of you know me as Britt K from right here on my Instagram handle. Today is my 31st birthday. Yes, your girl is 31, looking 13 or whatever. But that's another discussion for another day. Um, with everything that's going on right now, this year my birthday is slightly different than what I'm used to. Not only me, for many people, I know the Pisces, the Aries, the Taurus, we're struggling. Hopefully it doesn't spill over into Gemini season. Hopefully it stops right here. But again, it's my birthday. I just wanted to come on here and spread some positivity today because I know a lot of people are going through some things and we're searching for the silver lining and the cloud and the light at the end of the tunnel and it's not always that easy. I want to share with you guys 10 things that I'm thankful for today on my 31st birthday. So yes, the first guys. thing that I'm most grateful for is life. Um, a lot of people are losing their lives at this time. A lot of people are losing their loved ones. And um, just because I can't go out to eat or go out and hang out with my friends or, you know, get all dressed up and cute and party doesn't mean that I shouldn't still celebrate and be thankful that I'm still alive. You know, we take a lot of things for granted. And I think that just being alive is one of them. So every day that you wake up and you have functioning limbs and a place to stay, a bed to sleep in, you know, a life to live, another day to try, you should be thankful for. So that's number one. Number two is I'm very thankful for my ability to stay present. Um, I've suffered with anxiety for years, way before I even knew what anxiety was. And now that I am aware of what anxiety is, I am able to deal with it. And I'm thankful for that. Um, I'm thankful for the resources and the individuals that led me to self-healing and mental healing that allowed me the ability to be able to stay present. You know, a lot of the times we get anxious and we think about what could happen and what might happen. And the reality, is, reality of it all is in the moment, if you are feeling well, that's all you need to be worried about. So I'm so thankful for the ability to stay present. Um, the third thing that I'm thankful for is the ability to show compassion. Um, I won't lie. In the past, I have not always been very compassionate to different situations that I didn't understand or things that I felt like didn't make sense to me. Um, in my more recent times, you know, I have prayed and my relationship with God has grown stronger and I find that I'm way more compassionate than I have ever been. I understand people face circumstances that, you know, they don't, they didn't always plan for, or, you know, sometimes things just happen. My most recent prayers and my most recent experiences in life, God has allowed my heart to open up more and be able to show compassion and feel compassion for others. And that's something that I'm extremely grateful for. Number four is for my sanity. Times are insane right now and I am able to stay sane. Yes, I'm not going to say that sometimes I don't still feel anxious. Sometimes I don't feel sad. Sometimes I don't feel confused. Yes, I do. You know, every day is not going to be perfect, but I am able to stay sane in the moment when something is put in front of me, when I'm faced with an obstacle, when I'm faced with a sudden change, when I'm faced with, you know, any types of adversities that I didn't plan to deal with or would rather not deal with. I know how to keep my head on straight and deal with what it is that I'm facing. So I'm thankful for that. My sanity. Um, number five is my love ones i'm so 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 thankful for my loved ones you know for the people that i'm related to that love me and support me so much for my friends that i met along the way you know for anyone i've ever done business with for anyone who has ever reposted my art thankful for them as well i'm just thankful to have people that love me and support me and that genuinely care for me even people that be like not loving me so much or whatever the case may be i'm thankful for those people to notice me for different things i'm thankful for the people in my life who keep me in check the people that tell me that i'm not you know that i wasn't right or that i was wrong in the situation i'm thankful for those people as well because those people help me self-reflect and grow i'm thankful for my loved ones the sixth thing that i'm thankful for this year is my daughter i love my daughter so much you know i talk about her and i post her all the time on my instagram she's just like the center of my world she's made me a better person she's made me appreciate who i am She's helped me realize that patience is a virtue. She's going on three in September, and I just learn so much from her every day. You know, having her in my life has been so refreshing. Um, she's brought me and my mom closer because now we can bond on a new level, and it just helps me. She's just helped me see life, you know, in a different light and appreciate the little things so much more. Um, I'm so thankful that I was able to carry and have her, and I can go on and on. You know, uh, a mother and a daughter bond is something that sometimes um, has a lot of confliction, and I just pray that throughout the year, will grow closer and I always try my best to be the best woman that I can be so that I can lead by example and I just 
pray that we continue to grow old together. I just love her so much. The seventh thing that I'm thankful for is my talents and my crafts. I have not always been the most confident person, and I feel that now in my most recent months and weeks, I'm at my most confident state. Um, I can only imagine that I have more, you know, insecurities and more self-doubt sections and aspects of my life that I have to work on, but I feel completely confident in the things that I do. I'm a writer. I'm a blogger. I'm a co-host on a podcast. I'm an amazing mother, an incredible friend, um, an incredible daughter. Um, I'm just an incredible individual overall, and I'm confident in saying that. You know, I can stand, I can say that and I can stand on it, and I'm just so thankful for the person that I am and the talents and crafts that I possess. The eighth thing that I'm most thankful for is having access to resources. A lot of us lack resources or lack the ability to reach out to people for our resources. And I'm just thankful, especially in this time during the pandemic, I'm thankful to have a shelter. I'm thankful to have an income. I'm thankful to have support, whether that's mental, emotional, or physical, or whatever it is. I'm extremely thankful for resources because it sucks that some people don't have the bare minimum and simple resources, or they do have the resources, but they don't want to feel needy or they're ashamed to ask for help. I'm thankful to have the resources. I'm thankful to know where to go and who to talk to when I do when I don't have the resources and I need the help. So that's also one of the things that I'm most thankful for. The ninth thing that I'm most thankful for is my parents. I have the most amazing mother and father and stepfather. I'm going to say parents, but I'm also thankful for my village. The village that is helping me raise my child, the village that helped raise me, and anybody that I've met along the way that has influenced anything positive and beneficial in my life. I'm extremely thankful for my parents. I'm so happy. Um, you know, they met when they met and they made me when they made me. I'm just so thrilled and honored. The last but not least thing that I'm most thankful for is my faith. Myself, just like many others, have been through a lot. A lot of, I took a lot of losses, whether that was like physical, family, loved one losses, or job opportunity losses, or things that I thought were losses. I have taken a lot of losses, a lot of falling out friendships, a lot of situations that I was put in that I sometimes put myself in or that other people put me in that didn't work out. But I'm so thankful for my faith because I never gave up on myself. Even when I was talking about my talents and my crafts, I haven't always been as confident in my abilities to do the things that I love to do. But I always stood consistent and I never gave up on myself. I always prayed. I always continued to practice. I remember doing my makeup and um, my friends would ask, like, what you doing your makeup for today? And I'll be like, I'm just practicing. And they would be like, practicing? girl, you good. It's no practicing. You got it. And it's like, no, I still need to practice. And even to this day, I still practice. You can never be too good. It's never too late to learn something new, a new technique and what you do or something else. So thankful for my faith. I stay praying, prayed up, like extremely prayed up. Um, and it's crazy because when I'm struggling, I find that I, that I pray less. Um, most people pray more when they're in the need. When I'm struggling, I find that I pray less and it's not something that I'm happy about or, you know, proud of because you should always um, be able to pray and find your center in your, in, your, in your most needy times. But I also am proud that I pray more when I'm happy because sometimes people, you know, feel like, you know, things is good. So it's just regular. Thank you. No, when I'm receiving those blessings and when I'm feeling moved and when I'm feeling empowered, I pray more and I give praise more and I'm, and I'm more thankful and more merciful in those moments. In the moments when things aren't as good for me, I still feel the presence of God, but I don't pray as much. And I, maybe that's something that I need to work on. But overall, I would like to say that I am so thankful for my faith and the fact that God has kept me and the fact that the universe always aligns things to work out for me. Even when I think I'm losing, I turn out to win. Um, the universe sets me up for better things. I'm just so thankful for that. So those are the 10 things that I'm thankful for. And since it's my birthday, I want to ask that you guys go down in the comments and tell me what you're thankful for. These times are rough, you guys, but I just pray that everyone is feeling okay. And I'm going to continue to pray for comfort, clarity, and cleansing across the nation. Hey, wish me a happy birthday. Let me know what you're thankful for. And thank you so much for tuning in. If you've ever supported me, I thank you. If you ever liked or shared one of my posts, I thank you. Send me any encouraging words, I thank you. Thank you guys so much.